My name is Jerry Lisk and I am a painter. I paint acrylic on aluminum. Um, I use the surface of the aluminum as my canvas, um, applying the paint directly to that surface. I, um, I've always wanted to weld and then didn't have time to like learn how to weld and um, do the painting and everything. So it's kind of like you pick one direction and you run that way. How I paint is very impressionistic and simple. Um, and you just, I like to play with composition and color more than actually the, the reality of the piece. And just the main process is building lots of colors from the background, um, using a, a dark background, and then bringing all the highlights and colors to the top. Um, and on this one, my interpretation of the grains was wood grain, because I love to do wood grains. And so I decided to pick some of those uh, um, bright colored fields that just don't need any highlighting or shadowing or anything because the color is just just pops so brightly um, and then choosing to do the wood grain on top and incorporating that into it so it kind of brings you back down to a simple kind of um, composition as well. So the, the trees have been probably what keeps me painting. Um, I have not seen two trees that are exactly alike and so they all have their different personality. Um, so when I look at nature, they kind of just stand out. And I think that for them being vertical, um, and everyone has an old tree that they climbed as a kid or um, hung around at just to rest, eating lunch or whatever. Um, so that's kind of my, my passion. And they're in the landscape a lot. So um, really finding a place to um, study the, the bark color or the reflection of the trees. Um, the, or the bark, um, the, sh the like turquoise shadows that are even cast on on the uh, bark, it was just it's just amazing. So with the grain series too, it was really fun to um, play with the lines, you know, with the grain and, and take that composition and really have fun with it. Um, and this one has a little bit of the wood grain too in the background. Um, and I try to be a little bit realism with the wood grain, like they are real wood grains of like either a maple or a walnut. Yeah, I find that um, I like to just go that direction that the art is pulling me. It's so fun to do and I feel like I try to push that edge of that color boundary a lot. It's really fun to do and, and actually, you know, I'm not borrowing from anything but nature when I'm applying color um, because the there's that bright orange in the lichen on a rock and the bright greens you know, in the trees or the new growth on a pine tree. Um, so that it's all there.